In 2022, outer space grew clearer, bigger, and a bit safer for the scientists studying it from Earth. In a year of dramatic discoveries, astronomers captured images of the oldest known star, the furthest known planet orbiting another sun, the black hole at the center of our galaxy, and details from the surface of our own sun. The number of people living in space grew. China now has a permanent home in orbit, 24 years after the launch of the International Space Station. But two missions shattered targets. The first, literally. The half-ton DART satellite slammed into a 160-meter-wide asteroid called Dimorphos at 6 kilometers per second. It was a test of an Earth-saving defense system, and it worked. The shimmering debris thrown up by the impact was captured by observatories around our planet. But nothing was as spectacular as the first images from the James Webb Space Telescope. The edge of time itself. More than 20 years in the making, 14 years late, the world's largest space-based telescope flew one and a half million kilometers and looked at a point in the sky smaller than a grain of sand held at arm's length. That grain contained a myriad of stars. Webb's first picture revealed the oldest and furthest objects human eyes have ever seen, ancient galaxies at the visible edge of the universe. Now, these tiny dots of color are helping to fill in the picture of how everything began. The image provoked more questions. We are looking as far back as currently humanly possible, and that is our goal, is to keep trying to study further and further back uh, so that we can understand better the time in cosmic history that we've only been able to really theorize. Webb's astronomers spotted water, carbon monoxide, and gases that volcanoes release into atmospheres of planets far beyond our sun. One system orbiting a sun known as TRAPPIST-1 looks tantalizingly similar to our own. So now we have kind of our first chance at studying another star system that has a bunch of small rocky planets to say, okay, how different are they? What does that mean about their potential for supporting life? And astronomers used Webb to make discoveries much closer to home. When I saw the first image of Neptune with James Webb Space Telescope, I actually started to cry. <laughs> I had been waiting for over 30 years to see this planet again like that. Um, what I saw first and foremost was the ring system of Neptune. The last time we had seen it was in 1989 when the Voyager spacecraft flew over the cloud tops of Neptune. In 2023, Webb will study hundreds of new targets and probes will reach new asteroids. That's as India aims for a lunar landing and Europe plans a mission to the icy moons of Jupiter. Colin Baker, Al Jazeera.